Welcome back, everybody, to the Castlevania Ravenloft RPG. Uh, the last time we saw our heroes, they were approaching the sacred site in the forest uh, that is guarded by a very large werewolf pack. Um, Emil had explained to the party previously that uh, Strahd has definitely, uh, before his demise, had told them to guard this sacred site uh, and stay on high alert. So... It looks like the um, the number of the werewolves has increased, and uh, Emil is currently trying to take back uh, what he believes is rightfully his, which is to become, again, the leader of the pack. Uh, against Grizzlemane, the werewolf who is also apparently tied to Jack's past, um, the last we saw them, they had uh, laid into a werewolf archer, and killed another wolf and had threatened uh, and, or intimidated them enough to send a message to Grizzlemane to have a one-on-one -on -one fight. And Emil thought that would have been a clever idea because uh, using his ego there to get him out in the open um, might have worked. However, it doesn't look good as um, the, the archer, the werewolf archer has, is walking back without uh, Grizzlemane in tow. And he approaches, uh, when he gets in, into the uh, site of the party there, um, the mist is extremely thick in this area. But you see him there emerge close enough to speak with the party. Um, also, Mark, you were supposed to remember your hide roll from last week. Yeah, it's like 25, 27? 20, it was 25. All right, 25. Um Let's just see if you can be spotted. Nope. Uh, you think that you remain hidden from the archer as he comes back, but he's definitely come back, coming back alone. His weapon is not in his hand, or his, his arrow is not in his hand. His bow is still in his hand, but it's not uh, knocked with an arrow or anything. Um, he approaches close enough to easily speak to uh, Emil without being uh, without shouting and says Grizzlemane said that if I don't bring back your head I'm as good as dead too this is your chance to walk away he won't be a problem after the day I have nowhere to go then stand down I won't give you another chance I will fight for Emil. Nope. As soon as he's dead. He'll fight for Emil. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll fight for a meal. Jack's hand was already lifting and he's like, oh. Okay. And drop. Yeah, um, if you'll let him, the uh, the werewolf, werewolf will come and stand next to Emil. Unless anyone wants to do anything. Nope. He turns on us. I can always kill him later. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, We're he makes his... That was not said out loud. That was me saying that. Uh-huh. Noted. <laughs> Retroactively. <laughs> um, yes, uh, he... Climbs down the into the dry riverbed there, and uh, produces an arrow, knocks it in his bow, and he says, "I, I'm feeling the effects of our previous battle, so I must hang back a bit. But you have my bow. Anyone want to fix him up? Um." I don't think he means wound points. Oh yeah, he's he's jacked up. Yeah. Who Emil? No, Willem, the uh, the werewolf archer that has just basically joined your party to help fight with uh, oh. Emil here. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. Um, can I uh, sense motive to see if he's sincere or not? <laughs> yeah. Sure, go ahead and roll for it. Uh, will that be insight? Yeah. Um, well, 
it was sensing his motive, right? Is that yeah. not is that not its own skill? Sense no, motive. Not in five it's eight. It's insight. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Insight then. I, I'll never get used to five eight. Oh damn. Go Elias. A thirty one. Um. <laughs> Try to beat that, Mike. It's hard to gauge a werewolf's facial expression, <laughs> and uh, judging from the um, non-threatening d- demeanor that he is used here, and earnestly going to to Emil there, you you can tell that the the wounds on this thing are not healing. Its its damage was magical. Um, He's not in good shape, and it looks like he knows that this is probably his last day alive. Uh, if he's going to do it, he doesn't think that he's going to be bringing Emil's head back to Grizzlemane. Grizzlemane. So in that case, uh, if you can't beat him, join him is his attitude. And that's okay. what you've gotten from his motive. If you can't beat him, join him. Uh, you With that role, you might even... Uh, pick up on a little hint of loyalty that maybe that he knew Emil before uh, the changing of the guard there when Grizzlemane came into the picture and took over. Body language. Alright, so um, Elias will approach him and um, he says to the uh, to the werewolf, um, we appreciate your help and um, I can tell you sincerely want to defend yourself. So um, while you're with us, allow me to heal you. And uh, Elias presents his holy symbol, and I'll use Channel Divinity to give him 40 HP back all at once. 40? Dang, mm-hmm. that's a lot. Okay, so... Oh, the... No, 40. He straight up said 40. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right, so uh, when you do this, uh, he says, I did not know such magic existed. I didn't know something would work on a cursed creature like myself. Uh, the power of God, my friend, and it works on all creatures. And again, I appreciate your assistance. Uh, roll persuasion. Um, see. Congratulations, you just converted a werewolf to Christianity. It might happen. The wolf of God. Here you go. Natural. Or one. not. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. All right. Uh, well, he nods a, an appreciative thank you for the healing, uh, but that's all. And uh, now we can <laughs> we can go back to initiative order. So um, let's just start over fresh for the week, uh, since we are out for uh, out of initiative for so long. We can just start with you, Elias. What would you like to do? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, the thing is, every other creature is not hostile to us yet because they don't know what's going on right as far as we know no um you you heard howls of alarm and uh emil has told you that they are on high alert anyway basically you've been expected and it's going to be a fight okay can i see where jeeves is or is he hidden from everyone you can't see jeeves at all okay um so i don't know where he's at so since I don't know where he's at, I'm not going to try to go where he is. I'm going to uh, walk up the middle uh, to right here. Okay. And uh, in doing that, he's going to make his spirit guardians active again, so the wolves will take damage, as well as the action I'm going to take against one of them. Uh, which will be a sacred flame. And I'm going to cast that on this one. Hold on. All right. It did not succeed on its save. All right. It takes this much damage. Oh, it's dead. (laughs) All right. Fricasseed the wolf. Uh, very cleanly, uh, without any mess or fuss, uh, brilliant ray of light uh, sears the, the flesh right off the wolf, and nothing's left. Um, for the fairies, they also flip forward, and for wolf three and wolf four, I'm going to roll on them. They'll probably be dead regardless of the 
whether they fail or, or succeed, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, number three. It still failed. <laughs> All right, and number four. A failure. I think I did Wolf 4 twice, but it's the same thing. Yeah, same stats. All right, so... I may have guessed three this. Ones. Don't count that. That doesn't count. Let's see. What did I cast this as? Level 4. Yes. So it's going to be... Oh, it survived. 29. Yeah, it actually survived. And to this one... Jeez. Did not survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's dead. <laughs> the yeah, fairies you... uh, freeze the other uh, the wolf before it is stricken by lightning and then shatters. All right, so that's it for Elias's turn. You know what I was also thinking would be cool for your Elias's uh, spirit guardians? You know how Alucard's Bible, like, all flies around him? Yeah. <laughs> a flying Bible that just beats the crap out of people. Uh, it works in a video game. Why not make it work in D&D? &D? Well, you know, I just... I went with the... Uh, the a fairy actual, familiar. The, mm -hmm. No, not actually. Um, the the rules specify either, like, an angel thing or fairies or, like, demons if you're um, evil. And the fairies fits in with some lore stuff I'll, I'll introduce later with the letter he wrote. So oh, we'll get cool. into that later. Oh, man, I'm glad that you wrote something. Interesting. All right, so uh, is that the end of your turn then? Yep. All right, Alex, uh, you see a wounded wolf ahead of you that looks like it's ready to flee. And uh, beyond it, you can't really see much past the mist. Uh, you can't quite even see as much as Elias is seeing there. Elias She's is going to step right up by Elias. She can see the wolf. Oh, yeah, you can see the wolf just fine. Right, she well, can, can step right up beside Elias, and she's going to notch an arrow into her longbow, which she has not used in quite some time. All right. That should do it. It's a hit. Good night, puppy. <laughs> Yes, uh, that is a very dead wolf. It howls as it falls over, no longer breathing. Welcome back, Logan. Uh, that was one attack. Um, unfortunately, well, roll Here's a spot check. There's nothing else for me to attack. Oh, Just perception. roll a spot check. Dude, yeah, you were like, hung up on... I know, I know. Right it's, it's, it's in my bones, man. But I really do like 5th edition. I just call things different things. Uh, a really good check there. Um, you hear uh, a soft grumble uh, somewhere deeper into the riverbed. Shit. So you know that there's enemies close. You would say probably within about 40 feet or so. She's going to put her bow and arrow away and paddle ice on the shoulder. Your turn, hold after you. All right. Next. Oh uh, fuck! The cursor disappeared. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. What does it mean? It means that bad shit's about to emerge. Oh, you mean in the combat tracker? Yep. Incoming enemy. Um, Willem says there are many guards ahead. This won't be easy. Uh, and he is going to uh, point up to the ridge to the right where you guys saw Mr. Jeez Jeeves kind of walk off to uh, before Willem came back. Uh, little does Willem know, Mr. Jeeves already notices that there's a werewolf that doesn't know he's even back there um, hiding behind a rock. So they're hiding wow. on the opposite sides of rocks together. Uh, Mr. Jeeves knows he's there, and Willem is apparently trying to give his location away as well. Um, so you can expect that somewhere in this area, uh, near Mr. Jeeves, sits another 
werewolf that Willem is pointing out. But Willem's going to hold his turn. And Jack, if you're with us, please tell me you're with us. Any chance that these people talk down? Um, yeah, uh, there's always a chance. Emil seems to be influential. You've already got one person over to your side. Can I also get the map, please? Oh. Hold action. Get ready to follow Emil when he moves. Okay, good deal. Mr. Jeeves, you're on one side of a rock, and on the opposite side of that boulder, uh, you notice um, this guy here. He doesn't see you. He doesn't know you're there. Okay. Um, it's this guy. Is that him that's higher up on the tracker? He is Werewolf no Archer 3. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So if I make an attack against him, do I have a surprise? Yes, you'll get your <laughs> um, sneak Jack. attack. Jack, tell Jeeves not to attack anything until the meal gets up. Can I, uh, do I know where Jeeves is at? Nope, and neither does Alexandra. Um, do, 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 do. No, she does know he's missing. Yeah. Can I even talk off my turn in this edition? Sure, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Just checking quickly if uh, the warlock ability to speak into his head is based. Yeah, I think it is based on sight. It, it doesn't specify if it's two way, um, but I would say that it is. Yeah. Uh, well, if he's right next to me, I might just hold off and just. Okay, uh, this would be a me. perfect time for Point an assassination if you'd like one, but. Yeah, I know. And if that's what uh, you want to do, by all means, no, it's, it's up I to do. you. He's, he's too close to comfort. <laughs> It'd make a good example, right? Right. Um, it's too near for the bow, right? I can't shoot him. Can I shoot him with a bow? Next. Yeah, uh, normally if he's a, a target who's aware, um, it may require some other rules that I can't quite remember at the moment. <laughs> you might have disadvantage or something, but in this case you would not, uh, since he's not aware of you. It would just be basically a point-blank shot. If they're within five feet, it imposes disadvantage, but if he's on the other side of a boulder, Mike, that's your call. To yeah, he's completely unaware of this threat, so he's not yeah. going to be able to defend against it. Okay, so, okay, so this is a regular attack, or is it advantage attack? It's with advantage. Uh, All right. Basically, you'll have to reveal yourself to attack him, but when you pop up there on the boulder and, and pop him, he's not going to see it coming. <laughs> Huzzah! Ew. Regardless, 16 is a hit. Okay. Now, this is a, um, a magical bow, so... That was the best set of sound effects I've heard in a while. Huzzah! Oh. <laughs> 23 points of damage. Um, uh, let's see. It says it's partially resisted. I wonder why. I think all you did was piss him off. Hello! Type piercing. Is it also type magic? Is that what's missing? I made that bow myself. I don't see magic in the effects. Uh, yeah, let me look at that bow. Bone bow. Here we go. Well, anything that gets a plus five should it should automatically know it's, it's magic. I need to look up a magic item and see how that normally looks like. I think that Jack's got a mace. I can just look at that. 
I have I do silver have rapier in my inventory. I think you just have to add the words magical at the end of the properties. Ah, okay. You just do comic, uh, com, comma, magic. Comma, magical. I think just comma, magic is what oh, the magic, Mesa Terror yeah. has. Oh, but the the type of... Yeah, you put a... After piercing, you do magic. There, too. Okay. I think I've fixed your bow. It's truly magic okay. now. And, um... Mm -hmm. That means... I'm just gonna... Look at that guy's damage. Where is he? Yeah. I'm gonna reset his damage. And then I'm just gonna drag this damage back onto him. And it still says... Oh, I know why. Because that was before we fixed it. Okay, I've manually entered it. Okay, it's correct now. Alright, Mr. Jeeves, uh, you uh, creep up to the uh, top of the boulder, look down and see a archer who is diligently uh, watching right where those wolves had just died. Um, you pop up and put an arrow like right into his neck. So he is wounded pretty well. You think he's got plenty of fight left in him, and he is now aware of your existence. So I can't try and hide again? <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. Uh, you can move back behind the boulder, but you'll still be... He knows where you're at. Actually, no, yeah, I will do that. I'll disengage and then move my 30. Okay, go ahead. Where would you like to go? All right. Good deal. Actually, that probably wasn't smart, but whatever. Why not? Oh, no, because he's an archer. So he's going to stay there anyway. Most likely. Right. I'm good. All right. Uh, Emil goes next, and uh, seeing that Jack is kind of waiting on him, he's going to uh, boldly uh, push past Alexandra and Elias, and he's going to take a full movement. You say push past like they won't step aside and allow him to enter. <laughs> he has taken the hybrid werewolf form. And he growls, ready to attack uh, whatever is in front of him. You can't quite see up there next to him. Uh, when he moves, Willem also moves with him slightly afterwards. But Willem's going to take position up um, he's going to stand on this rock here so he climbs up a little bit using some of his movement to do so uh, and Jack if you wanted to take your turn now it'd be a good time I do All right, uh, Jack. You, yes. Uh, you can kind of see around the boulder on both sides. It looks like there might be a little rocky passageway here too, but it's tight. And then I suppose you can see up here a bit easier. And I might as well reveal this up here, too. And I see the uh, second wolf archer there. Yeah, you see him. Jeeves attacking him basically the same time that you're moving. So you, you notice that happened. Point to him. Make it very clear I'm talking to him. And then in his head, in a loud, booming voice, you have one chance to throw down your arm. Or you die here and now. Are you talking to me or the uh, archer? <laughs> the <laughs> archer. You. <laughs> yeah. you never no. know, it's Jack. <laughs> uh, roll for intimidation. Do you love him, Jeeves? Mm. Not the last time he asked. <laughs> Not as much as Brent. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you um, love Brent more, or Brent loves him more than you love him? Brent loves him more. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, Not even Elias, but Brent. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Jack with those spinning dice, man. 21. Oh. Intimidation. Um, yeah, I think that that may uh, affect his performance, but he does not put his bow away. All right. Can I still uh, take my spell? Sure. I'm going to say it's just speaking, so... Shame that. Was that in his head? Pretty much. All right, both hits. All right, heavy damage. Yeah, it looks like he's still a capable fighter, though. And um, when it comes to the mechanics that you and I discussed, it's still possible for you to do so. I know I was torn as a DM giving uh, such powers, but um, eh. I think you've earned it. Oh my. I would say use your best judgment and uh, keep the game fun. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, good. Okay, well, right now, I'm good where I'm at. Okay. Thanks. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, next up is Leo. Leo, you've kind of uh, gained a new party member with a werewolf, and you've seen uh, Mr. Jeeves almost assassinate a werewolf and then come back your way. Van Richten is next to you, and the party seems to be engaging. What would you like to do? I will move forward. Okay, big guy. There, that's it. That's a very defensible spot. Uh, you don't even think the archer can see you at that location. I'm hoping to come around much later. Okay. Anything else with your turn? Do you need me to share uh, the um, golem with you? Uh, yes, please. Sure. Here you go. All right. Uh, if that's the end of your turn, just pass the to the next actor. Yeah, I'm gonna use myself as back. Um, it's not letting me pass my turn? Huh. Okay, well, I'll do it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Van Richten seems eager to assist in any way he can, so he comes up behind Alex and is prepared to uh, cast any healing that he may need to later. But that's the end of the round. Next round, Elias, you're up again. Okay. Uh, he's going to move right here. Sure. And same thing on um, Archer 3 with Sacred Flame. Uh, what is the range he's from me right now? I see he's up in a higher elevation. So how far would that be? Less than 15 feet. Okay. All right, then. He failed his save. Okay, so he takes this from Sacred Flame. Excellent. Hmm. That should not have the four. Interesting. That's my fault. Okay. Uh, I will add four back to him there. Okay. It will, probably won't matter shortly with the uh, <laughs> Guardian. But, okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to roll that now. He failed. How okay, unfortunate. So full damage of this. 
Yes, uh, you hear the him howl, and you see his body change from that of a hybrid werewolf into that of a young boy. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. He Good falls ap- apparently dead uh, on the boulder with an arrow sticking out of his neck. Good job, Jeeves. You killed another kid. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm good at. I think Elias wow, gets the credit for this one. Wow, that is not something you should be proud of, dude. He's no. Child Slayer. <laughs> Teen Bane. Wow. Are you holding back something that you had intentionally against Alexandra? I'm honestly glad that uh, What's-Her-Face Ezreal is already gone, because to see you murder another child, <laughs> I think she would have flipped her shit and attacked. Well, I mean, this one was a werewolf. It wasn't really a normal child. Yeah. And it was actually hurting us as opposed to just being a child. Well, I mean, you know, slingshot. Oh, yo, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All this aside, uh, if that's the end of your turn, it was yeah. a good turn. Alex? Yeah, she's going to move one up ahead with the others. Okay. Uh, you can see just a little bit farther in. This mist is very problematic. It is, mm-hmm. yeah. Even my eyes can't see through it. Let's see, how far is that? 5, 10, 15, 20? Oh, actually, you should see a little bit more. You can tell that it, it starts to rise up... Uh, at about 30 feet away. Can Elias see more southeast where he's at? Uh, you can see uh, between those boulders, those boulders are a little bit smaller. So you can see there's actually quite a bit of room on the other side of those boulders. I see. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. She's going to move up to here and that'll do it. All right. When you move up to there, um, two werewolves reveal themselves that were hiding. Uh, no, three werewolves, sorry. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, actually, let's reveal all of this. Oh, my. Uh, there you go. You said three werewolves. I know. I didn't mean That's to. Four. I didn't mean Archer. I didn't want Archie to actually show up, but I accidentally clicked the wrong thing, and yeah, sure. Now you can see the fourth one too. <laughs> All right, it's actually um, one of their turns, and he's going to leap and jump over at you. Um, he's in. He's in range of spirit guardians, by the way. Yes, he is. You want to go ahead and roll that? Yeah. I'll right. totally do it. He failed. Is that a fail? Okay. All right. Yeah, he's wounded. Um, good damage there. Uh, and then you hear him growl as he tries to rip Alexander to shreds. Uh, make a constitution save. Did he hit? Oh, I guess that's important, huh? <laughs> he missed. Uh, no. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. He does have multi-attack. All right, yeah, he missed both. So, okay, no good. constitution save needed. Okay, good. Yeah, he, he bit at you and clawed at you, but was unsuccessful. Um, She's nimble. Yes, now other werewolves are coming in to also get part of the action here. The bite misses, and the claw... The claw hits. Uh, Defensive duelist. Alright, what does that give you? Uh, Plus four to my AC for that attack, causing it to potentially miss me. What is your AC? 18. It hit. Wow. With with a 22? Oh, I was asking what is your AC modified. 
Oh. No. Base, 18, base is 18, plus 4 is 22. No, it misses. Okay. All right. Uh, werewolf Ooh. number 3 here. It's also going to try to bite you. Um, which misses. And its claw also misses. Ooh. All right, and then finally, the archer that you wouldn't have been able to see until just now when an arrow flies yeah. out of nowhere. The arrow misses you as well. <laughs> I'm not rolling bad either. You guys are just tough. All right, uh, in retaliation... Um, up on his little ledge, Willem lets an arrow fly, uh, but he says, uh, my arrows don't hurt the, the cursed. Um, does his arrow actually hit one of them, though? He's trying to distract them. It does hit, but you can tell that his bow is not magical, and although it sinks into the flesh of one of the werewolves, the werewolf just completely ignores it as uh, the arrow shortly falls to the ground thereafter. All right, Jack, your turn. Okay. <laughs> In which case, Jack is Yay! going to do this. Okay. <clears throat> moving through this, would this count as me moving through threatening? Uh, no, I think that you could have hugged the wall enough to where... It it's not when you it's not when you move through a threatening square that's the issue. It's when you leave a threatening square that's the issue. Uh, it completely not even not even the square. I'm sorry. Let me be clear. It's when you leave that creature's threatening range that yeah. you invoke a an attack of opportunity. So you can walk straight past him as long as you don't leave his area of <laughs> woo attack there. Then you're fine. <laughs> Someone went okay, super saiyan. Okay, that's plenty of room. Move here, and then, uh... Okay. I got three things I'm doing. First, quickened heck on level three. Alright. He's hexed now. Okay. And then I am activating the Mace of Dread ability. Uh, Wisdom, by the way, is where you could get advantage on. Okay. Nice. And then every enemy within 30 feet of me has to um, make a keen Wisdom save against Fear. Uh, what's the save they need to make? What's the number we're looking for? I think it's DC 15 on that Mesa Terror. So, uh, all right, let's get them going. Wisdom save at disadvantage. Uh, that is a, a failure on that one. Uh, another one. Uh, that is the same roll. Weird. Uh, the third one. <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Really scared. And then the final one. Uh, he is a different creature. Let's see if he has a different wisdom save. Nope. Yeah, they all failed. So, Jack's Mace of Terror here uh, says... Uh, 
They're frightened for a minute, and they must spend its turn trying to move as far away as you can, and they can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of Jack. It also can't take reactions. Um, Does attacking them break it? At the end of each of its turn, a creature can repeat the saving throw. All right. And, and that'll it take says a... nothing about an attack changing that? No, it says nothing about an attack changing that. Okay. And now, before my turn is over, I am going to shout as loudly and intimidatingly as possible, and I am going to point. If you don't want to die, leave that way. Which way is it? Uh, back the way we came. Okay. Uh, well, they can't approach within 30 feet of you, but they could probably get around the rocks. Um, yeah, you can make that happen. Good job, Jack. Uh, on their turn, you can tell that they are frightened and ready to go. I will apply the frightened effect to every one of them. It's nothing I can drag, though. I'm afraid I might accidentally put it on Jack. Let me just do it this way. Frightened. Damaging them ruins the frightened, doesn't it? Nope. No. It, it doesn't. Oh. Hmm. Good to know. So that means we could kill them as it. they're leaving if we wanted to. We could. Yeah, I thought attacking them did. I guess because it's a magic weapon, maybe? No. Uh... Let's just read the Let's thing not again. argue it. You already said no. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> let's. I, I'm just thinking. Let's look up regular frightened. Um, in our appendix of conditions here, it says frightened has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while in the source of its fear, or while in the line of sight. Uh, of its source of fear, and the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of fear. It doesn't say anything about these conditions being... Um, it says a condition lasts either until it is countered uh, for or for a duration specified by the effect that imposed the condition, which is a minute. Yeah, I think, I think only turn undead is affected by attacking something. And charm. I guess yeah. it was not. That's convenient. Yes, so uh, the fear of Jack is within them, and uh, you can tell they're ready to flee. Jack. Mr. Jeeves, you're up next, but Jack said he wanted to do three things. I guess if telling them the direction to flee was the third thing, then he may be done with his turn. I don't know. Jack, what do you think? That was turn. That was thing three. Okay, good deal. All right, Mr. Jeeves, you're up next. Okay. Well, I'm going to just... I'm going to hustle back up to where I was. All right. Elias will say to Jeeves, uh, hopefully he sees them, uh, if you or anyone else has a spare silver weapon, could you give it to Willem? I'm using my silver weapon. <laughs> Willem says, uh, I, I can't hold silver. Yeah, he's a well. <laughs> well, the handle wouldn't be silver. Yeah, he doesn't know that, though. <laughs> I believe I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an attack of. Is there, have any of them been hit? I guess what werewolf one. Yeah, werewolf one had taken damage from Elias's effects. Okay, well I'll try for number two then. You said we have an uh, advantage because they're frightened? Yeah, it should automatically be on it's, there. Yeah, it should be automatic right now. Okay. I think. If not, you'll just roll again. Oh, it's a hit anyway, but if you'd like to go right. and see if you get a critical, you can roll again. Okay. Alright. Huh. Do you have advantage? I guess they do. You do have an ally within range. Yeah, that's why. Oh, yeah. Um, that really hurt, but you rolled three ones and a three. <laughs> so, 
still, uh, it's decent damage. Uh, 22 damage. Let me make sure it applied correctly. It did. We have fixed your weapon. Anything else? Oh, uh, no. That's it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, you see a magical streak, and then finding its destination in one of the werewolves. Uh, it looks like uh, Jeeves is effective up on the ridge. Emil is going to go around. Um, let's see which way is he going to go. Actually, he's going to wait until the werewolves pass, and then he'll advance. He can tell that they're ready to rout, like uh, Jack suggested. Leo, your turn. Uh, let's see. So, are these rocks uh are elevated? Yeah. Okay, I wish to get the higher ground. You're pretty strong. Um, I doubt that a climb check is going to really be needed, but just in case, go ahead and just roll strength. Okay. Or climb, if you happen to have it, which you probably don't. <laughs> Wait, I don't see climb in here. Right. I'm using an NPC sheet, so... Yeah, it'll just have strength. strength. Which oh. you're really good at, but... We'll see. I'm just I'm just looking for a one. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Uh, you can climb up as, as high as you need to. Let's see, uh, I think I'm going to move over here. Um, would I be able to move down? Sure. Right here. Oh, that's up higher, actually. Yeah. Do I need to roll a strength check? No, your strength check works for both of those. Okay, then I will stay right here. Okay. Uh, next up, Van Richten. Um, Van Richten is going to take up next to Elias here. Elias, it's your turn again. Um, Elias causes uh, the spirit guardians, the fairies, to stand down as he can tell that the wolves are preparing to leave, and he notices that Emil's not taking um, offense against them, so he's not going to attack either. And he's going to move. Um, can he move like through these rocks here, next to him, right here? Um, sure. Yeah, you can squeeze through there. Okay, he'll go. Uh, right here. Does he see anything new when he does that? Uh, roll a perception check. Alright. Uh, 21. You do not. Um... You notice that the riverbed kind of uh, climbs up in elevation as if there was a short waterfall ahead. Mm. Which is now dry. Yeah. Uh, Alright, that's his turn then. Okay. Alex, you have three werewolves around you that look like they're ready to flee. She's going to first take a glance to Emil. Do you recognize any of these? The more that make it out of this bed, the better. If they're going to flee, let them. When they return, I will be pack leader. If you're convinced that you could be sure... Wow, I fucked that sentence up. Never mind, one second. If you're sure you can convince them that you're the Alpha, then so be it. They know better. She's going to hold up her hands and allow them to leave. Okay. You're not sure if they know better or not. Uh, 
you think Emil might have said that to just give them a warning or and something to think about while they're running in fear? <laughs> well, if they want to start shit when they come back, we'll be ready for them. Yep. She's going to move up next to Elias and move a little further. Okay. And... Hmm. Oh, wait. The, has the werewolf archer... He is going to be running too, right? Yeah. Uh, moving out of their uh, attacks, uh, or their threatening area, I'm just going to say you disengage, just to be safe. If that's okay. Yeah, well, they're frightened. I didn't think they'd get attacks of opportunity. but Oh, they can't take reactions. You're right. Yeah. Okay, in that case, you can move. You can move easily and have enough to do something else. She's going to move up here behind this rock and try to keep an eye out for her. All right, just roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, next, no, no. next up are the werewolves, and they will all be. Uh, running, when Emil sees which path they're kind of taking, uh, he pulls Van Richten to the side and, and lets them flee. So they're going to move uh, all of them. Uh, about let's see, they are in hybrid form, so only th sixty total. They're woofing it out of there. <laughs> Hoofing it, woofing it. They're high-tailing it. <laughs> oh, nice. You know, last session, I didn't actually say excellent. You, you picked that up yourself. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually say that. You sent them running with their tails between their legs. Wow, I'm not usually the pun master, Brent. You're sliding. Everybody, everybody tonight. Click with the puns. All right, that takes care of all of our werewolf friends up to this point. Um, Willem is going to let him pass, of course. So he'll hold his turn. And Jack, it'll be your turn next. I don't know why I couldn't have just moved. Cursor this. just appeared. I know. It's at the top. I'm having problems. There it goes. You know how paranoid we get when you see the cursor disappear. But... Apparently. Metagaming. It's not metagaming to know that when it disappears that there's something else is turned. <laughs> Underground. Alright, well it looks like you've cleared this uh, this first challenge. Jack, what do you want to do? Jack is going to start patting his potato. <laughs> soon, precious, soon. Man, this song is long. It's 30 minutes. I think we lost Logan. That's okay. Uh, we can come back to him after Mr. Jeeves. Um, okay. I'm just gonna hold my action and keep a surveil over the area and make sure nothing else is coming in to attack us. Okay. Uh, even with the mist there, you have a really good vantage point. Uh, Emil is going to continue forward on his turn. And he climbs to the top of uh, the dry waterfall. Jackson is just going to follow Emil again. All right. Leo, your turn. I am going to move up. And I fit through here. Uh, you can climb a boulder. Uh, I'm going to say that that's no problem for you. You're a big, strong 
Iron, uh, not iron golem. Flesh golem. You're a strapping fellow. Okay. Um. Yeah, that ends my. Okay. Uh, Rudolf Van Richten is going to advance as well. Elias. Um. So what is the elevation like over here? Oh, it's a good, like, ten feet climb. Okay, he's going to attempt to climb it then. You need to check for that. Strength. Or climb skill. Athletics. Athletics. <laughs> wow. See, that's, that's why I asked. Uh, yeah, you spend yeah. your turn trying to get up there, but... Um, you find a loose rock and tumble back down. So that'd be your turn. Or you stepped on your cloak. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's muddy. You Oops. slid. Whoa. Alex, your turn. Alright, she's going to do the same thing. Try to get up the bank next to a meal. Uh, strength check or athletics. <laughs> 18, no problem. Alright, you're up next to him. Uh, roll a spot check. I mean, a uh, perception check. One of these you, days. You are not. getting stuck I'm, on that. Tonight. I'm trying, guys. I'm putting effort. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh, you just get the sense that there is something ahead of you, but you're not sure how far ahead of you. It's a really good roll. Mm. That mist is pretty thick, Emil. It Can is you pretty smell thick. Smell anything? Emil says. I know that the pack's waiting for us in full force. What they have that I've scouted out includes our dire wolves, our wolves, and our werewolves, of course. How many of them do you think will turn to your side before the battle begins? I wouldn't count on any of them. Grizzlemane's influence is based on his fear and his strength. And if they were to see this tide starting? They will try to preserve their own lives, I'm sure. The beast, not so much. So I shouldn't keep trying. For the beasts? The werewolves, they can be reasoned with. But things like wolves and dire wolves, they just fight for the pack. So take them out first. Spare the lives of the werewolves as many as we can. All right then. She's going to slowly move a little closer. Okay. We'll do it now. Uh, you can see a little bit more. Uh, it looks like it starts to open up soon after that. And uh, these werewolves are continuing to flee. Uh, they're close enough now to where I'm just going to put them on the edge of the map. Actually, you know what? She's not going to move any closer. She's going to reach a hand down and try to help Elias. Alright. When it's his turn, he'll have advantage yeah. on his check. Alright. Willem's turn is next. Um, he climbs down. Make sure he can get down safe. Doesn't matter, he's a werewolf. <laughs> he could probably break a leg and it'd be just fine for a second later. I would laugh if he face planted into the dirt below. I would not. Look at that compassion. Alright, Jack. Uh, it's your turn again, if you're with us. Climb that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, strength check from you. Shouldn't be a problem. But shouldn't have been a problem for Elias either. Sure. You get up just fine.
And then what do I see? Um, if you continue on up, you can continue in about 30 feet, if you'd like. And then uh, I need a perception check. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh. <laughs> no luck. Anything else with your turn? Jack is distracted by a shiny pebble on the ground. Oh, God. He's okay, I can recognize everybody. that this looks like prime ambush spot. It really does. So, I am going to shout something large and intimidating. And something about Grizzlemane being a coward. How he's sending out all these fine werewolves to die against us. And that anyone who would like to earn a slow, painful death can go ahead and attack me now. That we've already dispatched five of their troops. Wow. <laughs> Glorious bloody murder. And point out that there's not a scratch on. Hmm. Okay. Uh, intimidation. All right. Noted. Oh, come on. Mr. Jeeves, your turn. Indeed. <clears throat> well, I'm going to hustle as stealthily and quickly as possible around the edge of the walls. Okay. Right here. And I I'm assuming this is still elevated up here? It is. Are you a ninja? He is. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Sticky feet. You, you see him climb those things without any effort at all. Yep. And I'm he's gonna also try scaly and green, so technically he's a ninja. <laughs> I'll blend in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Adventure on stealth, I think. Alright. Um, uh -oh. See, so yeah, I'm going to Maybe. Oh my god. He's scaly green and he has no teeth. He really is a ninja turtle. Ha <laughs> 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 Wow. He's scaly green and he's me. <laughs> teenage mutant ninja G. Wow. He's definitely not teenaged. <laughs> Middle <He's> aged. <laughs> well, <laughs> very <laughs> aged. <laughs> okay. Um, next up, we will have Emil go again. And Emil is just going to move in. When he gets to this point, uh, you can tell that it is tough to move uh, through this uh, bit of incline that's very stony, so it's treated as double movement going through those squares. Um, and he is going to uh, take his time with that and stop there. Leo, your turn. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna move across this cat and get, get down first, though. Sure, uh, climb check. Or athletics. Strength. Or it's just strength. Okay. Yeah, you get down just fine. It'll, it costs you about 10 feet of movement. Oh. So that's, uh... Still get right up beside the um, lines. Behind him, rather. Would I be here, then? No, behind him. One space back. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll be there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Van Richten stays behind. And Elias, you'll be next. You get advantage on your strength roll. Alexandra's reaching a hand down to. Um, so I get advantage on strength check, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or athletics, whatever is better for you. I think it's the same roll either way. It'll be a little higher if you have proficiency in athletics, but. 
I have survival, persuasion, and insight. <clears throat> uh, I'll use athletics one. though. Let's see how it goes. One advantage. Okay, surely that'll work this time. It's twelve. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Huh. What do you think, Mike? Twelve? Oh yeah, twelve is fine. You can get up. Okay. All right. So he's gonna. How much movement does that, does that take to get up there? Oh, it's it's not much. It's only. I mean, I said ten feet for uh, Leo earlier, but I should have said something more like fifteen or twenty. Uh, okay. But for you, it's going to be about ten feet. All right. Uh, let's see, fifteen. I'll get about right here. Okay. And, uh. No action, so I'll pass to Alex. Alright, Alex. How deep do you want to go? She'll get to about here, and she will follow in Jack and Emile's footstep and try to shout out to Grizzlemane. How many more are you going to send to die for you, coward? Come out and face your doom. Doom. We have a potato with your name on it, courtesy of Jack Motley. <laughs> you can roll intimidation. Yes. Because, you know, potatoes, intimidating. Over 20, that's good. This is not you that scares me, but the potato. <laughs> the potato you has sit like... there and you power and you hide behind your pack. Come out and face us like a man or a beast, whatever you consider yourself to be. You hear no reply. Coward. Is that it for your turn? Um... Okay. All right. So our werewolf friends are still retreating. Let's see, Willem, you're kind of back ways. Willem gets up just fine. In fact, uh, he's going to continue to climb. That's a lot steeper on this next one, though, so I'm going to give another check. Now, he, uh, Willem tried to climb up to a higher elevation but couldn't quite make it, so I'll just put him here. All right, Mr. Jeeves, you're up. Alrighty, so still no sign of anything. Huh? Still no sign of anything. Right, the fog right. is thick. You think only about a 30-foot radius is an effective range uh, without um, a heavy disadvantage or a complete obscurity. Okay. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carefully uh, sneak up to this point here. Sure. And stay hidden. All right. Let's see. We're 30 feet from there. And then... Yeah, you get a really good look of the surrounding terrain while you're up there. Uh, roll a perception check. Ooh. Ooh. You do see, um, well, actually, yeah, you see two werewolves. Huzzah! It appears like they're, uh, waiting for you guys to get closer. Alright, um, I'm, I'm assuming there's, like, little bits of vegetation and dirt and rocks and stuff near me. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, I'm just going to grab a little handful of little, tiny little gravel and just toss it down at Alexandra so that she sees. So you're going to make yourself known just to her? Um, no, I'm just going to throw it like randomly in that area, like an area attack, I guess. <laughs> so you're just going to fling some just pebbles to, down there? 
Yeah, just just to alert them to like, hey, yeah, pay. He's attacking the rockness. <laughs> That's right. Oh no. Sure, uh, Alex, you you feel some pebbles like sprinkle uh, down at you and kind of hit you in the hair. She rolls her eyes, swats them out of her hair, and glances up. <laughs> Damn it, Jean. She'll uh, pay attention now. Yeah. Pay attention to what? Well, you should not see him from there, just about. Uh, Emil says, um, Do you want me to go in first? It probably would be wise. See if you can convert these two to your cop. Uh, he doesn't see them at the moment, but um, neither do you. Okay. But uh, he does understand that you want him on point so he can uh, talk to people. Yes. Sure. Uh, once he gets closer, he does notice the two werewolves, and they growl, we've been expecting you at him. Um he attempts to uh, dissuade them from attacking by saying the pack will be mine once again it's just a matter of time you don't have to die today remember that and then uh, it'll be Leo's turn and Emil lets everyone else know that the uh, that he's found enemies All right. follow Emil Okay. Are you able to use Fantasy Grounds effectively? I'd, okay. Oh, so I'd, I'll move you around and stuff if you want me to. I just I'm in the habit of doing it so much, you know. I'm like, should I move him? Anyways. No, it's cool. I got it. Okay. Good. Follow Emil. All right. Um. Sorry, Leo. I didn't mean to. Oh, that's all right. And then. Last chance. Join or die. Uh, they don't look interested in joining just yet. Maybe you have to convince them. Did I have the movement to come here? Sure. As you wish. Got enough for an action. All right, acid blast. A five foot wide, hundred foot line in front of me. Just <laughs> oh boy! A insane amount of acid bursts forth from Jack's hand as he points at them. They have to save. I think Dex. Okay. Um, in fact, actually, since I can move Hex at this point, move it to one of them, it doesn't matter who. Make it Dex. All right. So we'll have disadvantage on that. Right. And then they have to save at a DC 16. All right. Dex save with disadvantage. All right. And we that gotta... does extend... A hundred feet. So I can't see it, but it goes a hundred feet back. Right. If there's anybody behind them. <laughs> well, uh, it hits one of them um, as they were not lined up in the way that would have been most beneficial. But, uh, yeah, for a hundred feet back, as long as it doesn't hit anything, uh, this whole eruption of acid just spews forth from Jack's hands and uh, drenches one of the werewolves who fails its save with a critical failure. Ooh. Uh, what kind of damage does it get? Oh, God. Oh, That's a lot of dice. So many ones, though. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a lot of ones. Uh, werewolf number four, uh, you are taking... 
21 points. Yes, okay. It did it correctly. Plus 1d6 necrotic. Okay, go ahead and roll it. All right, so an additional three on top of that. So, 24. All right, good deal. Uh, next up. Oh, and everything flammable ignites. From acid? It's not worn or carried. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's part of lightning bolt, but acid will do the same thing if it's the right kind of acid. Hmm. He just slung napalm from his head. Okay. Uh, catching fire? Let's see. Does that work for the... That's just objects and stuff, right? It The wording is that anything flammable not worn or carried. Oh, okay. Well, they that wear their fur. If, uh... Right. Wouldn't that set the whole forest on fire? Um, if it was uh, like a dry, flammable leaves and, and dead trees and things, absolutely, yes. But this seems to be a pretty lush little riverbed. Oh, for 100 feet. It, it yeah, hit. A... Right, the, the riverbed curves around a lot, so uh, it's going to find something before that 100 feet's up. Plus it's kind of misty, isn't it? Yeah, but the acid don't care. <laughs> All right, so Jack, that was your turn. Mr. Jeeves, you're next. I don't know why it jumped over to Leo. Yeah, Leo, come on. All right. Um. Hmm. I did hear Emil say that we tried to save the werewolves, so I'm not going to attack immediately. But I'm going to move closer. I think it was Leo's turn, Mike. And then uh, Jack jumped ahead because he just came back. I think Jeeves yeah. already went and stole Yeah, Leo it. doesn't have an initiative. Yeah, I jumped in in front of Leo. Leo doesn't have an initiative. I actually rolled one earlier. So I think that uh, Jeeves and Emil have already gone, so Leo and Rick Van Richten need to end the turn. Oh, okay. Leo, go ahead. Okay. I will move right here. Right next to the, uh, this final, uh, wa dry waterfall. Mm -hmm. And I will stand by. Okay. Alright, next up then would be Van Richten. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and attempt to climb on up. Which he does. So he's up there with you guys now. Elias, you'll be next. Okay. Um, is this uh, laborious movement through the rocks here? Does it take more? Yeah, t d double when you're on the small rocks. Okay, I think I was right here. So half speed, I guess? Yeah. Um, okay, he gets right here. Um, do those two werewolves we see, are either one of those hexed? Yes, the uh, werewolf number four is, the one that's down south a little bit. What is the, the stat? That Dexterity. Is Dexterity? Yes. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, Elias is going to use the spell command on them, and that's uh, wisdom save DC, I can roll it on them. Go ahead. How many creatures does that affect? It's going to be two. I'm casting it as a higher level spell. Ooh. So that was to werewolf number six. And he failed. And then werewolf number four. He failed. <laughs> Critically. The command Elias gives them is to flee. And he points his arm the same direction the other werewolves fled. Alright. You can tell they're compelled to do so. All right, that's Elias's turn. Oops, Alex, your turn. Yep. Hello, wife. Hello. Hey, wifey. Everyone says hi. Hey, wife. Oh, Elias says, uh, "Make way for these wolves." I have, uh, 
I've caused them to flee. Emil, they shall soon be yours. Uh, you hear Emil growl a thank you to you in his hybrid form. So, how much difficult terrain is this? How much movement does it take to get up here? Uh, it just takes double uh, movement, or it halves your movement speed if you're going to pass through where Elias did. Alright. Well, if that halves it, that's as far as I can go by normal means, but she's going to take full round movement. Okay. Since, you know, these ones are frightened and we're not. I guess that'll do it. How long does the command last for? Um, actually, I'm glad you asked because I just looked at it. It says it's only one round. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So, uh, this one is going to attempt to uh, flee in the direction that you specified. It's five, ten, fifteen, and then. I need to know if this is counted as hostile squares or not, because he won't be able to pass through unless you let him. Um, is he just running away at this point? Yeah, he's trying to move past you because he was commanded to flee that direction uh, from Elias. Then yeah, he can go through. All right, uh, Alex and Emil, do you want to take attacks of opportunity? Why are you asking the NPC if he wants to take an attack of opportunity? You control. Right. Yeah. If Emil lets him pass, then Alexander will. But oh. she's going to look to him first and raise him. This might be the push they needed to decide not to fight us, even if the spell wears off. But we'll have to find out afterwards. It's your call, Emil. She yeah. has her whip in her hand. So. Emil obviously lets him pass. Um, right. So the werewolf gets there, but it's going to continue to use its its movement. Um, that was half its movement there. And then that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, this one will um, make itself known to you and run out and attack. <laughs> so from around the bend... Uh, a werewolf leaps into uh, the way, uh, blocking the retreat of one of the werewolves, and attacks Jack. Jack, it attempts to bite you? Okay, let it bite me. It misses, and then it attempts to claw you, and misses. All right, now the one that was also commanded is going to attempt to get past its friend here. So that's 15, 20, 25, 30. And then basically it's uh, it's right next to Elias and currently fleeing. Elias, you know that's about to wear, wear off. Um, The other werewolves continue to flee even farther away. I'm considering just taking them out of the combat tracker for this. <laughs> uh, and then up top, um, it appears a hidden werewolf is going to take aim at, let's say, Alexandra. With a bow. And it's actually a hit. Did you want to use any? Yep. That's a duelist. All right, and that makes your AC 22? Yep. All right, then it misses. I wonder if multi-attack works for the bow. I think it does. We'll see if it can get lucky. A 23. That is an actual legitimate hit. Bastard. Yeah, an arrow sinks in. Uh, seven points of damage. She pissed. Uh oh. Seven from 117? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it still hurts. Uh, up Do you from enjoy the being shot with arrows, Elias? You see another archer move into position from behind a rock. Elias doesn't know your hit points. 
<laughs> and also begins to rain arrows down upon uh, Alex. You don't have to know my hit points to know that being shot with an arrow hurts. Would you like to try? <laughs> as she's oh. as she's talking to talking Elias, to her. <laughs> two more arrows swoosh by uh, Alex as she dodges, uh, you know, moving her head to one side right as one passes near. Uh, Willem finally has a target, so he moves into a position to where he can get a good shot and lets an arrow fly, uh, mostly to discourage his other werewolves, knowing that this is not an effective weapon. Um, but he does hit one, uh, just to show that werewolves have taken Emil's side. Hopefully that will influence them in some way. Jack, it's your turn again. Uh, roll a perception check, Jack. Cool. Not very good. You thought you may have heard something, but you're not sure what it was. I guess, Alex, uh, you can do that, too. Oh, Grizzlemane, is that you finally coming out to face me like a man <laughs> before you die like a dog? <laughs> You're not sure, but Alex tells everyone that she hears uh, some sort of footsteps to the north coming around the rock. It sounds like uh, multi-footed uh, animals. It's a giant octopus. No. <laughs> I don't think they have any feet. Yeah, you're right. But they could probably wear shoes, so it counts. How high are those ledges, Mike? Oh, they're up a pretty good ways. Uh, it's about 15 feet up. But you could climb it, just like you climb everything else. That's what I was thinking. I just wanted to know how high. It would take 30 movement to spend to climb it. All good. But yes, Jack, it is your turn. You have a werewolf right in front of you that just failed to scratch you. Um, move the hex onto him. All right. And then. Jack reaches down into his cloak as if he's drawing a weapon and comes out with oh Shadow my. Blade. Alright. Oh my. Is that what you're calling it now, Jack? He makes a kissy face at the werewolf. Can I use that as an intimidate check? Sure. Or persuasion. I mean, depending on what you're implying. Are, aren't you? Aren't you still wearing a mask? Oh, that's true. <laughs> but you can Doesn't hear it. You can, can hear, hear the kissing. Uh, yeah, that's right. Also, my face has altered how it used. To oh, still, yeah. Okay. It's actually kind of creepier with a mask on. Really, with the illusion, all you see is the Jack's original pre... I, I don't know what this is. Corrupted? I, blessed? Whatever he may uh, consider it. That's right. Alright, Jack. Uh, you've produced your weapon. What would you like to do with it? it i'm done you no know attacks i can't why not i used all my action mm. 
With intimidation? Nah, the kissy was... That's good. You can... You can still take an action. And you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, well, how about Mr. Jeeves then? Oh, alright. I'll do some. <sighs> so, okay. So we've got two up in the air that are like being annoying, right? So. Uh, let's see. How, how far down is it to the river? Oh, it's, it's a good like uh, 15 to 20 feet ish. Down to the bottom of the riverbed by Elias. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. So many werewolves. Um. Okay, I want to try and sneak around to Werewolf 2. Um, <clears throat> but that means i got to go back over here, go down, go across, go up, all the way over here. Um, Whew, that's a long way. Yeah, unless I can, well, it looks like it's about 10 feet across here, right? Yeah. So I could try and jump it. Oh, actually, I should, I you could, but it would, it would not be sneaky. Sure it would. <laughs> you would look like a ninja star flying through the air doing cartwheels. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to take a sh- I'm going to take a shot at where- <laughs> Okay. While I'm still- Hidden, hopefully. Uh, do, do we roll those? Yeah, yeah, let's do some opposing rolls here. Oh, crap. Well, it beat what I rolled, so you're good. Okay. That's a hit. Alright, 30 points of damage. Not bad. Uh, that reveals your position, but it was well worth it. That's a, a good hit. You Damn, think you've, you've got him halfway there. <laughs> halfway, alright. Good to know. <laughs> uh, we can... Give or take. Um, so, as my bonus free action, can I try and hide again? Um, well, your roguish abilities there... Uh, What do they allow you to do? Um, it specifically says, I think, with yeah, cunning action. Uh, cunning action, uh, I can take uh, take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. The action can be used to dash, disengage, or. Hmm. Now, I'm going to say no. But you can use your next round to hide if you'd like. If you break the line of sight, then you can have another check. Well, I guess there's not enough rocks around here or stuff to hide in. <laughs> yeah, as long as you, like, hug up next to a rock that, you know, he would have to look down to see. And then rock you can move there. back into his line of sight sneakily your next round. That might work. 
Okay, I'll do that. All right, then let's say you move about here. If he's your target, then uh, that breaks the line of sight, and then on your next turn you can move out to where you can see him again. Okay. Sneakily. All right, uh, next up, what happens is that sound that you heard, Alex, um, dire wolves have joined the fray. I figured that's what they were. So they run in, and uh, Elias, you haven't seen much action this round, so this one's going to attack you. Um, Sentinel. All right. Also, spirit guardians. <clears throat> oh, go ahead and give it the uh, good old spirit guardian treatment. I'll let him do that first, and then I'll burn Sentinel. Alrighty. All right, it failed, even though it. Oh no, it rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's fifteen points of damage there. That all settle us. Yeah. Now, what does Sentinel do? If an enemy within five feet targets an enemy other than her, she can make her reaction to make an attack. Okay. Uh. He's gonna go ahead and target. Does the does it there's, attack there's first? There's There's a lot of contention over this. Honestly, it's up to your. The way it's worded is if it makes an attack or targets, or like makes a target other than the person who has Sentinel. Mm -hmm. But then people are arguing. Well, it won't trigger if they don't actually attack. But other people argue. Well, it triggers if you target. Okay. So there's contention over whether or not it's the target and the sentinel would be the attack that comes before the attack or if the attack from the enemy is what triggers the sentinel. It's honestly your call because people go both ways. Hmm. It is a really tough call and I wish that they'd be more descriptive with it uh, yes. because I don't think it's going to make a big difference for Elias right now but I can see how in a dire situation... Pun I, the way I see it is <laughs> Sentinel means you would be on your guard So if you see something going For Elias That would mean Alexander would attack it To prevent Elias from getting her. That's the whole point Is it's supposed to be a defensive Like offense mm -hmm. But I don't know That That's my argument over it But I, it's up to you But was she actively on defense looking for it though Because we didn't know this thing She was spotted it with her yeah. Last she time. did hear it. Yeah, yeah it's true. fine. It's fine that she is using it now. I just think that it's going to happen after the attack, just because. I can, it's your I guess. call. <laughs> there's no, there's no official wording on it, Mike. So right. honestly, it's your. We've been doing it before, I believe. Well, yeah. it, it missed anyway. So go ahead and take your attack on it. That's a hit. For sure. All right, fifteen points of damage plus the uh, the stuff from your spell that hurts it a lot. Um, another direwolf comes into the fight, and this one they're is kind of, they're kind of too big for the terrain. <laughs> Four squares. <laughs> yeah, whoever made this stuff up, I don't know. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Silly. Uh, this one gets its pack tactics advantage. Um. I think it takes Spirit Guardians, too. Is it close enough? It looks like it. Well, it definitely 15. threatens a, a square. The range yeah. is 15 feet, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, man. <laughs> it succeeded. What happens? Okay, so half of whatever this is. Okay. Nine. Let's see if it did it automatically correctly. Yeah, it did. Nine, exactly. Nice. Alright, so it's going to get advantage, and it's going to attempt to bite Alex. It misses. Rip lost. <laughs> Alright. When a creature misses you, you've already used your re Oh, yeah, I've already used my reaction. You don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I tried. Um, you see another dire wolf come around the back. Um,. It doesn't appear like it has enough room to attack anyone but Emil, so it's going to. 
Poor Emil. Yeah, poor guy, huh? I'm sure he'll be fine since this isn't a magical attack. Oh, it's a critical hit, though. Oh, you had to say that, didn't you? Um, yeah, and actually in that case, uh, he needs to make... Oh, he succeeded, but he was almost knocked down by the wolf and, and uh, mangled. But unfortunately for the dire wolf, uh, Emil is not going to suffer any damage from this. Emil is up next, and he's going to retaliate uh, with his claws. And he hits with the first. He hits with the second. And wounds that um, that dire wolf that attacked him. All right, Leo, uh, you hear the sounds of battle ahead, and it's your turn. Come kick some ass, earn some glory. Maybe not glory, but I will fight for my friend. I'm gonna climb up. Strength ax Athletics. Ooh. You have a little bit of problems with it, uh, but I'll let you try again this round. Okay. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't seem to climb up the, the, uh, the dry waterfall at this moment. Sorry, man. I guess I'll stay where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Van Richten will uh, position himself next to Jeeves. And Guarding he, our rear could be important. Never yeah, know. and he's going to uh, take his sword out of his cane, and he has that what readied weapon now. Elias, it's your turn. The lice is, uh, what's that? Shadow Blade. What's Jack doing? Sorry, ignore me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Elias is going to try to use his turn and get advantage with Willem to persuade the Werewolf 4 and 6 to continue fleeing and get out of there. Okay. Uh, just roll Persuasion with advantage. All right. That's the plan. Okay. Ooh. Over 20. That's not bad. Um, you think... Uh, well, I, I, I'm going to say it's going to depend on what you say. What do you say to these two? Um, Elias says, I implore you two to flee. Uh, clearly, this uh, situation is not in your favor, and Emil will be a better leader. Your friend Willem agrees. And Willem says, This is foolishness. Grizzlemane will have us all killed if we fail. This is... It's better to follow Emil. You don't have to join with us, but run. And with that, you think it may be effective. On their turn, you'll find out. Okay. Um, and on his... Uh, does he still get an action? Sure. Okay. So he's going to... He's going to take a stab at Dire Wolf number one with uh, Longinus Spear. Uh, and that's going to have some extra effects on it. Let's see. I'm going to use this. Sure that works. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Let me unequip my shield so I can use two hands. Uh, okay. Okay. And. Whoops. 
That's a hit. Definitely. Okay, he's going to use a, a spell slot with Divine Smite to add 2d8 damage to this damage. So, first of all, it's going to be this. Oh, yeah, that kills it. Sorry, oh, okay, man. never mind. So, okay, I, if that kill it, um, he's going to impale it from the, the chest up and hold it up a ways, and then kind of uh, lay it off to the side as respectfully as he can. All right. And you gain temporary hit points for this, too. Yeah, I think that's 2d6. Let me make sure. Uh, 2d6, yeah. All right, you have four temporary hit points. All right. And then it's Alex's turn. Yes, it is. And she does not like the fact that there is another wolf trying to sneak up. That's a hit. Minimum Even damage. with minimum damage, it's 10. <laughs> yeah. All right, the second hit lands. And near minimum damage, but still, 21 points of damage sends one of this dire wolf's ears flying off. Hmm. To burn action surge yet, or to wait? <laughs> I don't want to take the glory away from Jack and Emil, so she's going to spend her time fighting these dire wolves. She's going to gather her breath and take another sp Alright, that's another hit. It's a dead wolf. Yes. Uh, how'd you want to finish it off? She's going to slash that Sorrow from Misery whip across its throat and let it drop to the ground and bleed it. It does. Uh, you hear a whimpering gurgle as it falls down. And with my second attack from Action Surge, um, she's going to burn lunging it. So she has the range to attack Direwolf number three. All right, that's a hit. Heavy damage. And that'll do it for her. All right. Um, those werewolves are so far out now, I'm going to say that I'm taking them out of the combat. Uh, so that's that. Once she fells the second direwolf, though, she's going to glance up at the uh, werewolf archers and call to them. Is this how you want to go as well? Join with him. He will be a much better pack leader for you. Roll of persuasion. Not bad. Ooh. Uh, you can't tell the effects, though. Um, Elias, you can tell that the effects that you had... Uh, with commanding them earlier um, and with both Willem and you convincing them uh, these two are ready to flee so if they're allowed they will continue on uh, good uh, Elias uh, motions them through and uh, makes sure Van Richten, Jeeves and Leo know to let them go yeah that's up to you Jeeves if you wanted to do anything as these werewolves pass Actually, five goes first, so... Um... Yeah. I'll let him pass. Uh. Alright. Leo, you too? The werewolf adjacent to Alexandra here uh, that was attacking Jack is going to continue to attack Jack unknowing that such is futile uh, it misses with its claw the first time 
It hits with the second. Um, Jack, it damages you, but it's not enough to matter until the next round starts, you know? Since you'll heal it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Be able to burn Sentinel on this round. It's a new round. Sure, you can. Alright. Well, since it attacked Jack, she's going to defend her friend that she loves. <laughs> That's a hit. Stand down and leave him be. Flee with the rest of your friends, or die. And next to you, Emil says, I told you. She smirks at him. I know that. I'm trying to intimidate No, he's he's talking to the werewolf. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, yes, the werewolf now has some fresh damage on it. Um, Jack, roll a constitution save. He already has, like, hit the reef from the were-raven. Is he gonna be a werewolf-raven? I don't know. <laughs> Poor Jack. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Alright, um, Werewolf 6 is one of the, is also fleeing, so it's gonna be next to its companion out there. Uh, and then the archers, well, that one is fleeing as well. Uh, this archer will take a couple of bow shots down at Alex. Misses with the first. Misses with the second. And then the other archer does the same. They learned nothing. Misses. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> Willem. Um, he is going to move up. Emil, your friends are stubborn. 25-30. And he's going to shoot an arrow at one of the archers. And he hits. The damage from the arrow is insignificant, however. Uh, it does send a message. Alright, Jack, you're up. Okay. So, first things first. Let's put Hex on Werewolf 5 here. Alright. Um, we'll call it Wisdom. And then, here is why I couldn't do this last time. I'm casting Green Flame Blade. Okay. And as part of the attack action, I roll to hit. Oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> Drop a luck point. Fuck that. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully not a second one. That's much okay. better. It's, a, it's hit. a one and a zero. Yeah, there's a one in there somewhere. It hit? Yes. Okay, so. From Shadow Blade. That Ooh. much psychic damage. That's fire. And then... That much necrotic. Okay, and then your green flame leaps to the dire wolf yep. behind it. All right, and six points of damage. And they're both on fire. <laughs> oh, are they? Actually, I don't remember. It's been a little while, but I don't think they're on fire. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think they continuously burn. No, you can do that with alchemist fire, though. I think. Well, still. Good, except you never sold us any at the shop. Oh, well, I mean, we and don't then have any alchemist here. There's more. Jack will say that was your last warning. Yes. I burn you with a touch. You attack me with full force and do nothing. Leave or die. 
the I'm werewolf looks at you and looks at Emil and, and Alex and you can tell that he is pretty much done with this bend the knee <laughs> bend the knee is there a point in rolling intimidation? No, you can tell he's he's definitely ready to yield. So he's not going to attack me if I move? Uh, no. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Oh shit, Jack's running straight up to Grizzle Maid's lair. <laughs> uh, when you get there, you can see a little bit more of the terrain. It looks like the cliffs get really high on one side, and then it uh, dips down low, uh, descending downward, as if the water was deeper here. And just for good measure, he'll turn to one of the... Uh werewolf creatures and make the bring it motion with two fingers. <laughs> Very good. Alright, Mr. Jeeves, you had previously broken line of sight with uh, the werewolf, so if you'd like to roll a new hide check and move to a, a point where you can see them, you can get a sneak attack in. <clears throat> yeah. Well, he may stand out. Uh, we'll see. Did he attack this round? I missed that. Um, he did. He shot at Alex twice. Yeah, there are oh, what, there what? are a couple of archers and a dire wolf there that are definitely combatants. Well, she made a up. really good speech. But... Ooh, <laughs> that's a terrible <laughs> jump up. Do you just basically hide under a tiny rock? <laughs> Oi! He, stop teasing the elf. Climbing with his face. Oh, that was stealth, not climbing. Uh, I know. Oh, what? Jeeves Everybody lifts a pebble, puts me. it on his head, and acts like he's well hidden. <laughs> you can't see me. You can't see me. Alright. Uh, you can't currently see the archer from where you're at, so where do you want to position yourself? Oh, I thought I jumped across. I'm a little bad. Okay. Mm -mm. You're, um, you're kind of hiding below the, the cliffside there. But sure, moving up there, up. no problem for you. Mm -hmm. Won't be a sneak attack. Um... Sorry, what? It will not be a sneak attack, but you can get a regular attack on. I'm not going to get close enough for a rapier. You can still shoot him with your bow. Yeah, you can still he shoot him. Sneak it. attack, Dark Wolf 3. Ooh, it looks attack. like he ran out of ammo. Uh, what? Oh, shit! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you reach for an arrow and realize you have none left. Uh, apparently I haven't been collecting my arrows back up again. Throw your bow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that reminds me of that video. Alright, well, I guess I'm running up and stabbing him. That works. As long as you have a silvered weapon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why yes, not? your savored ra rapier hits. Wow. It's a 13. It's at a plus oh, 8 a for some crazy reason. Why yeah, is it at a plus hit. 8? Because it's my sword? <laughs> this is a dexterity bonus, probably. Yeah, dex bonus, dex bonus, proficiency bonus. Oh, okay. That proficiency, <laughs> oh yeah. God. Oh. Six points I of damage. Him in the toe. <laughs> hey, he needs those. You okay. can try to shoot an axe with your bow like Alex did that time. That was awesome. I can't shoot anything. I don't have any arrows left. There you go. Oh, can I can I pull the arrow out of him? I shot him out with earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That uh, you can use a free action to grab one of the the arrows that uh, um, Willem had shot into him. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> you gotta see this many happening in a second. All right. Well, uh, Direwolf Three uh, is let's see, it's still gonna attack a mill. <laughs> even though it's pretty much futile to do so. Uh, he hit him, though. Um, oh. Emil failed his save and is knocked prone. Hmm. He won't be for long. 
and Emil will go to... Actually, that dire wolf gets another attack, but it doesn't matter. They're not really damaging Emil. Um, Emil stands right back up. Uh, so that effect needs to go. I don't know why I even bothered applying it. It's, it's turn next. And uh, begins to claw into the dire wolf. Both hit. Compared to your weapons, you don't think Emil is uh, great with a damage output compared to you guys, but it gets the job done because this uh, the dire wolf howls and falls down dead. All right, Leo, you want to up onto that ledge? Toss me. Uh, I can try and help. I can't toss you that far. All right, Leo, finish us out for the night. I am going to climb this damn thing if it's the last thing I... <laughs> it will be for the you night. Yes, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the flesh golem manages to get up the dry waterfall. And you can still move after that. That takes about uh, about ten feet of movement. Would I be able to move here? If you can climb it. Yeah, I'll, I'll climb it. Go ahead and give us uh, another climb check there. Oh. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. No luck. Slide back down. Um, yeah, so everyone kind of hears Leo climb up the dry waterfall. You look back, see his success, give him a thumbs up just to watch him slide back down the uh, higher ledge. Stop uh, distracting me. The howls of wolves uh, rise in volume somewhere beyond in the mist. And you can tell that your, your journey through this small uh, twisting riverbed is only about halfway done. Oh. We will pick up the next half uh, next Wednesday. Thanks everyone for joining and watching. Um, I had fun. Sorry we don't have more time. Oh my god, this is a huge map. Yeah. Alright. Does everyone Thanks, like this, this huge map? Yes. Yeah, I like it. It's almost like a side scroller. It's fun. Yeah, well, the other sacred sites had definite side scroller element to it, so I wanted to do something special for the for this. Yeah. Uh, I had some other ideas that just didn't pan out, so I wanted to at least make a, a nice map, some interesting terrain. Yeah. No, All right. Awesome. Thank you. I'll see everybody next week. Yep. All right. Yep. yep. Big bloodstain update tomorrow. Don't miss it. Those maps better be made of cloth. <laughs>